Hello, 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 so fully aligned women. I just thought I'd get my Facebook going first today so that we're sure it is up and running. Hi everyone, welcome. Welcome to Soulfully Aligned Women. It is Thursday morning. I have a little message and meditation for you this morning and I hope that you'll join me. Hello, say hi. If you're on Facebook, I'm gonna hopefully see you here. Hello, hello, and it's okay if you're watching the replay, say hello at, on the replay so that I know that you are getting these messages and getting these meditations. Good morning. Hi, Kelly. Um, so, whew, what a week it's been here. <laughs> so again, I wanna say thank you again for all your love and prayers for our little Luke. Good morning, Kimber. He had his surgery on Tuesday. Hi, Lori, um, who, which went really well. Um, they, they, they said it was so well needed and um, he did really well. Uh, they did keep him in overnight, which kind of threw us a little bit. We weren't ready for that. It was like, oh, we didn't realize. So because we're so far from the hospital or my daughter and her husband are so far from the hospital. They said we're gonna keep them in, so they stayed. So I got grandson number one for a, a surprise adventure sleepover, and we had a great time. And then yesterday we were all so tired. We were just, it was just this huge relief, right? You forget how much emotions drain you. Negative emotions will drain you. Sad emotions, heavy emotions, they will drain you. Um, and so I just took the day, really, really needed the day just to, to rest and recover and come back into my center. I feel so much better today and I'm ready to go again and I'm showing up for myself. Hi, Debbie. Good morning. Um, so that is part of what I want to talk about today. So Monday, we talked about the fact that there are no limits. There are no limits, there are perceived limits. We've been trained to believe there are limits and we need to retrain ourselves into the idea that there are no limits out there. Tuesday, it was about doing it your way, coming back into your heart, come back into your center and rise up in your own way without any constraints, without any rules and regulations interfering with what you think is right for you. And I personally made some changes that day in my own business too. I shifted a few things behind the scenes, but I shifted a few things because I was like, this isn't feeling right for me. I knew from the get-go that this wasn't what I wanted, the way I wanted to build my business and I'm not doing it that way. So I let a few things go. And then Wednesday, I shared with you my form that I created. My This is my template form that I have created for each week and it keeps me on track. And that's how I can remember what we did Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, because my mind is all over the place all the time. I've got so much going on. Hi, Jill. Good morning. Um, so I'm keeping track and it's keeping me, it's holding me like the riverbanks hold the river, right? Um, so today is, is all about showing up for yourself. Are you showing up for yourself? Are you showing up for yourself in the queen energy that you are? for your dream? Are you showing up for your dream? Because in order for our dreams to magnetize to us, in order for all the situations to come in, all of the pieces to line up, we need to be showing the universe that we are ready for it. We need to step into the energy of like, I'm here. I'm ready. This is what I'm doing. Bring it on, right? And that is exactly what I do every day. I get up and I show up. I show up here. It is for me, for you, for us. And it is for my business. And it is for my dream business, my dream business of what I am growing. And so think about that today. Are you showing up 
for yourself. If you, let's say your, let's say your goal, your dream, your big dream was to be a millionaire. Well, are you showing up as the millionaire today? What would you be doing differently today? If you were already there, if you were already the millionaire, what would you, what would you be doing differently? And a lot of people go, well, I wouldn't be doing anything different. Yes, you would. You would feel differently. There would be something within you that would shift and go, oh, I feel pretty good about myself. I just manifested a million dollars, right? <laughs> like, wouldn't that be awesome? Okay. So what is that energy that you can show up with today? All right. So let's do a meditation for our dreams, for accessing and being in that dream energy. I'm going to invite you to settle in, to light your candle as I have here. Put some soft music on if you would like and close your eyes and join me here. So taking in some nice, long, deep breaths. in through your nose at your own pace, deep inhales right down to your belly. And let it go with a big sigh through your mouth. Breathing in and cleansing out the old stale air. your own pace letting go of everything else around you and just being here in this moment right here right now beautiful And then when you're ready, come back to your normal breathing pattern. And just bring your awareness into your heart, allowing that heart to wake up, to soften, to open. And this is so important for the alignment is to first open up your heart chakra, your heart space, access that heart frequency. So breathing into your heart and just feeling yourself soften into that beautiful heart light frequency. Feel into love and gratitude What is it that you are so, so grateful for in your life? And as you think of that, you can physically feel that space in your heart begin to expand. And just let that grow even more. Keep bringing in more with your imagination, more memories of feeling expanded love, of feeling so much gratitude, and a feeling abundance of love and gratitude. I often think of the times when I would lay in bed and my family was all under one roof, sleeping that feeling of gratitude that they're all there and safe the feeling of holding my babies against my heart when they were first born those precious first couple days of newborn love Or when they were toddlers 
and loved you so deeply. You were their whole world. Or holding your pet when you first got them, puppy or kitten. Just feeling that unconditional love awake in your heart. And just let it expand and see it as a light growing all around you from your heart expanding out. Breathe it in and let it grow and expand more and more. Filling up your entire body until you are standing in the center of this beautiful sphere of light. your own heart frequency. And then let that light grow down as a channel from your heart. See a beautiful channel of light going down your body, down into the earth, reaching down deeply into the heart of Mother Earth. Feel yourself connect and sync up with her heart, your heartbeat in rhythm with her heartbeat. And bring that up into your body. Bring her love and support. And reach up from your heart. Feel that channel of light go up through the top of your head, up into the universe. To the source of all that is the I am presence, the heart of the universe. And feel yourself align with the heart of the universe. Everything sinking up between you, Mother Earth and the universe, lining up. See it like tuning in and tuning up and feel that alignment that brings through a flood of more light coming down. You've created more space for this beautiful universal light frequency to flow down. And let it flow down through the top of your head, through your body. See a beautiful channel of light lining up all your chakras, lining you up with the universe and the earth. And let that channel of light expand until it is all around you, all around your heart light frequency, bigger, cleansing and clearing. All that you desire is in your heart and within your reach. All that you dream of is there. There are no limits. You get to do it your way. The only thing you need to do is keep yourself aligned with this. You don't need anyone's permission. You don't need any approval. You just need to keep growing in you, in your consciousness, in your awareness, in your self-love in your worthiness, it's all right there. And showing up for you, knowing you can do it. If you put your mind to it, if you decide in your heart, yes, I'm going after this dream, this is what I'm doing, then 
this is all you need to do. And then take the inspired action to step forward. And it won't always be easy, but if you keep coming back to your alignment, to knowing that this is you and you decide, this is your life, you're creating it. And these dreams were placed in your heart the day you were born. And you are allowed to want them. So feel yourself in this beautiful light. Now imagine it like a crystalline rainbow light that you are in the center of. It is huge and encompassing your heart frequency, light sphere all around you. And just see yourself getting charged up here. And feel all this inspiration, creative flow, everything flowing in, everything swirling around you, within you, it is all here. Limitless possibilities. And you just need to get clear and decide. Take a deep breath in and let it go and begin to hold this as you come back. You're going to take this with you today, this powered up feeling. Bring it in, wrap it up around you, feel yourself wiggling around in your chair as you come back. And when you're ready, open your eyes. That was loud today. <laughs> All right. Oh, thank you for being here. All right. So how are you showing up for your dream and yourself? Are you stepping into the you who already has it? Let's do this. If you are ready, you guys, Reclaim Your Radiance is a powerful way to take those steps. So join, join any time. We have next week, um, starting on the 21st, <clears throat> the Mystic Business portion with my certification group is starting. And you can come in and join us for that portion of our training. So my certification program group is going for nine months and uh, we start the Myst Creative Mystic. So we, there's little sections of the trainings that you can come in and join us for if you so choose. And that is all about the energy and the frequency of building your business. So if you are in business or you are creating one, this is a incredibly powerful program for you. This is the one where we set up the energetic foundation of your business to, for solid, a solid business. And this will help your business continue to grow and be soulfully aligned. This is the new way of doing business in this 5D world as opposed to the 3D, you know, uh, structure of hustle and go after it and market this way and do it this way. This is the new way of doing business. So um, I hope that you will consider coming and joining me. I will post a link for that in my link tree and in Soulfully Aligned Women. And if you're watching this on YouTube, it'll be down below. If you're watching this on the app, then just come to one of those places or uh, message me and I will send you the link. Um, it's been a quieter week here, purposefully. I did do that because of my, my grandson's uh, surgery, being there for my family. And um, I meet with the Soulfully Aligned Creative Mystic Group 1 tomorrow for our Money Mind Flow program. <laughs> so we're having a good time with that. 
next week oh my goodness is a busier week so with the programs and everything so i have so much to offer so please reach out if you're not sure have a call with me we'll zoom and we'll find out what's the best fit for you what is it that you need right now i love you guys have a beautiful day and i will see you on monday at 8 a.m thank you Mwah. bye for now <laughs>